Javier Burgos Mahangkai. I'm from Industrial Engineering 2018, Faculty of Industrial Technology, University of Ahmadiyya, Yogyakarta. The purpose of this video is to educate people as well as the assignment of one of my courses, which is USP course Final Project. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about creating a game. What, what game exactly? I'll talk about it in a minute. First, I want to talk about the problem, the background of the problem why I created this game. If you talk about education, education uh, in this era is very different than back then. Kids back then only study directly from a teacher, they study from a physical book. But kids these days, they are provided with a lot of technologies, a lot of possibilities, easy way to access, access ebook, access YouTube maybe. They can study from anywhere. Technologies can simplify the way kids study. They can make it more flexible than before. They can access many different entertainments such as game, movies, YouTube, or maybe even reading something. And this can be lead to a big problem. Why? Because with these facilities that can be accessed so easily, kids tend to get distracted while they're studying, you know. And by some people, by some families, what I mean by some is not all of them. Parents give access to kids technologies at such an early age. By some of my own experience, I have seen a five-year-old kid, five years old kid, playing a gadget, playing a phone, having their own personal phone, and it's it's different than my age back then and my my culture and again this is based on anyone's culture it is different as you can see on the screen this is the example of kids playing gadget at such an early age as soon as as shown as the in the picture the kids is about around three or four years old and they're already playing gadgets while sleeping which is not healthy and this is a big problem it can distract kids Maybe they have to study or anything, they can get distracted while playing games like this. Seeing the growth of technologies and the easiness to reach any certain entertainment, kids tend to become more lazy to study or even trying. Especially in this COVID-19 pandemic, kids is forced to study and learn from home, doing everything from home. And this makes kids can access the entertainment more easily. I personally sometimes get distracted while an online class. I know it sounds bad, but sometimes it's just I just don't want to listen to any that and then I started opening social medias, watching YouTube while in an online class. I know it's bad and don't try this at home kids. Seeing this problem, I have created a game that can help kids study and at the same time they can play a game and enjoy the game. I know it sounds impossible. And not a good way to study and i can tell you that kids also need entertainment they need something to boost their adrenaline so they can motivate themselves to study or even trying harder hopefully this game won't make kids lazy and forget about their own responsibilities of studying for a better world because kids is our future generation of our world the target market for this game I have created this game for kids, especially elementary school or below. Because this game does not contain any blood or gore or any mature language, something like that. It's just some basic puzzle game, maze game for kids to play and study at the same time. Okay, let's talk about the game itself. The game is called The Maze Race. As you heard by the title, this game is contained maze. And the player will choose a character within a boy or a girl and the character will be controlled by the player to go each way in the maze you know that maze is contains a lot of ways a lot of possibilities of ways and this is, can be adventure something like that and the game will look something like this as you can see this is a maze just a plain maze and this is your character you can choose a boy or a girl and you as a player can control this character to go maybe you go forward or maybe even you go backward going to the left each way you want to go 
something like this as you can see but on each way they choose there will be obstacles there will be challenge and this challenge is a quiz yes a quiz this is where the challenge is and this quiz is related to math or science and the question will be randomized it is not just a boring quiz that kids will not attempt to answer and sleep the game because boring each quiz will have, will have a timer and this can challenge the player more it can motivate them to answer it fast to think and make a decision faster this is the example of a quiz form for example this is stage one and this is about the math question for example as you can see on the screen the question is placed in the middle and there will be four possible options and a multiple choice and the player will need to choose one of the possible answer in the time that it that have been given the time is 15 seconds it is shown in the middle of the screen if the time expired and they can answer it right it will pass if the timer expired and player cannot answer the quiz their life will be taken by each player will have three life counts by the start this method can be challenging and can boost the kids adrenaline and not only that if the player can answer the quiz can pass their challenge the player will get points what is the point the point is they can be used for buying accessories such as hat glasses or maybe clothes boots everything accessories i personally play many games that allow us to customize it the character it can differentiate our character than other character and it, it is it is a good feeling to be different than others every obstacle every quiz is a level based each obstacle they encounter if they can answer it correctly they will advance to another stage another level and this level will get harder and harder each level so it can motivate them to study more to learn more and to make a decision more faster if somehow a player cannot answer a question and their life is already zero they will stop there they will ask they will the game will be over and the history of how far the means they have reached will be imputed to the scoreboard which is a, a board that contains the ranking of a people who have reached the furthest maze of the game and this can also motivate the player to get the epic win what is the epic win the epic win is when player have reached the number one spot of the scoreboard and also get the most point in the furthest maze so the strategies that players can build before playing this game is they can study more they can read the lecture they can read many books before they play this game or maybe they can place a book beside their gadget while playing this game or playing while answering a quiz they can look for the answer but not when the time expires right so they can have the knowledge to answer the question and make a decision faster this game is not a com competitive game so it only needs to answer certain question choosing multiple choice it's not a competitive competitive way play so this there is no certain strategies or a complex strategy something like that this just a, it's just, just a basic game you know so the conclusion the con conclusion of this video is that video game is not always bad it's not all of them bad especially this game that i created you know every kid needs game they need to play game because they are kids they want to have fun they want to enjoy the entertainment that's why i created this game that can help kids study and at the same time they can enjoy the game this game is the maze race can help kids to think faster to study more to reach the epic win and they can motivate themselves to study even harder and not only that they will not get distracted while studying because they're, they're doing studying and playing at the same time 
we cannot let technologies ruin our future generation. We need to take advantage of the technologies in creating something better like this game. That's all from me. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.